in front of Curtis Joseph, Desjardins, and Stevens. Lindros gets the start at center ice with Primo and Shanahan on the wings. This is a big Canadian team, and Glenn Sather told me today will come at them hard and hit them often. Canada trying to keep it in. Malakov will take it for Russia and get it up near the line. The first hit by Primo. It was a hard one inside the line. Bogilny's pass. Down to Fedorov. He left a high one in over the net. It was Fedorov who got dumped heavily inside his own line. They're hitting again back there. This is Fetisov, the veteran back in his own zone. The captain of Russia coming to center, winding up. The shot is nowhere near the net. Kovalev tried to center it, and again, Bob, back to the line, gave it shot, stop, rebound, score! Russia leading one to nothing, early in the game, nearing the five minute mark. In back of the net, Yuskevich picks it up for Russia, he was hit immediately, coffee screen shot, didn't get to the net. And I really think he does. Pass, hits Messier, on the fly, coming in. Angle shot, Abby Bull and Sharp. Desjardins kept it in. Asperitis came flying in there, hit his man. He went down, and Messier got the elbow up on him, and he is going. And uh, the Russian player hasn't got up yet. Messier's trying to plead with referee Gregson. He was just protecting himself. Well, we all know Mark Messier's got a mean streak, and it is something we have seen throughout his great career, and here's an example of it right here. His theory is, if you're going to hit me, you're going to swallow my elbow or my stick on the way in. Lindros can't find the pass. Rush on a power play now. Nikolishin has left the penalty box. They're up one to nothing on Team Canada. Nearing the halfway mark of this first period. Good work in on the boards. Canada killing lots of time in there. Lindros and Kasparaitis are going to go at it. Can you believe it? This Kasparaitis is a tough nut for Russia. And I don't have to tell you about number 88 for Canada. Boy, were they rocking each other in on the boards. And Lindros was ragging the puck with his skates. And Kasparaitis didn't like it and came back at the big guy. And here's what happened. Kasparetis will get up and he'll be coming right back. He has no fear. And Eric Lindros, who was being handled in the defensive zone coverage in a kind of a nasty fashion by Kasparitis, finally got frustrated. It went on for about 20 seconds. 11 Kasparitis against Lindros 88. And Lindros is a tough guy to pin, as you can see. But Kasparitis will not let him go. And he will not back away. And he lost the fight. But every one of his teammates have gone to him, I'm sure, and told him that's exactly what we have to do. Stand up to the physical play of Canada. Messier has a minute, eight seconds left in his penalty. So Russia has the extra man on there now. They're up one another. Here's the tension front. Pressure by Canada on the power play. Niedermeyer stopping it on the backhand, however. Now it's Desjardins. Shoot! Score! Russia attacking again now. Canada with a lead for the first time in the game, 2-1. Three minutes remaining in the first period. 2-1 Canada. Niedermeyer. And a book it back in front of his own net. The Messier coming up through the middle. Beautiful pass! Canada standing up at the line again. That was Stevens, and he just rolled it away. Russia organizing. Fedorov dropped it back. Jitnik shot it in. Russia is changing. With 1.45 left in the first period, Stevens hit McGillney and flattened him. They've picked up the pace. They've taken the hits when they're available, but they haven't gone searching for them when you couldn't get them. And Alexander McGillney, the local hero, is knocked down twice on the shift, once by Graves and there by Stevens. I think Canada should keep investing in being physical. Don't 
run all over the ice trying to get the hit. Take it if it's there, if you keep taking them out. But you're not gonna scare this little guy, Kasparitis. I guess he's not too little at 190, but when he's lined up against this line, everybody looks little, and there he gives Big Primo a ride over his hip. I'm okay. sick and tired First of, of all, hearing how great they are. No, They're no. down three one. They died in the fabulous five dive. They are suck and they always have sucked. We're referring to Sergei Arizan. Just as they knock it in. It sure looked like it got in under the bar, but however, here's Fedorov coming up. Now that one is in. They get in the slot area, and it's cleared back out to Lindros. Kasparaitis making a run at Lindros, who ducked down a bit, and Kasparaitis hit the board hard. And a Russian player is down on the ice inside his own line down near the net. That's Simak on the ice. I didn't see what happened to him. Everyone's eyes were easily placed. They're going to give Shanahan a penalty for whatever happened to Simak. See, he's now getting up. Here it is right here at the top of the screen. Just a nice little collision, but then the stick. And at the, in the middle of your screen on the right, you can see Kasparaitis, who took about a 40-foot run at Lindros. Lindros saw him at the last minute and got out of the way. So it's a high-sticking penalty. And two minutes up on the board. Across the line, Yashin throwing it at the net, and Joseph again stopped it with a stick this time, taking no chances, and held on to it. Kovalev threw a left hand in there on Coffey. This fight could go on forever with no punches being thrown. Kovalev and Coffey. Kovalev went to the net and kind of bumped Curtis Joseph, and then this is what resulted. Watch it, Lemieux and Fetisov are squared off near the blue line. You see him up to the right of your screen now, there they go. And in Yashin, the corner again, in on the boards. Yashin and Foot are having quite a little conference here. And down in front of Curtis Joseph, Yuskevich is Graves. talking to Adam Graves. <laughs> but Lemieux and Fetisov were locked for a long time. Now we're having a little chat. Well, they both players now know what the other had for the game meal. I can guarantee you that. Their faces were an inch apart. Now Kovalenko wants a piece of Lemieux. This animosity was building from the exhibition game in Calgary. You could tell no love lost here. Just like the good old days, <laughs> Russia and Canada. Let us go. Gregson will hand out more penalties. That he saw him taken out of the play heavily back of the net with a hit. Linden kept coming at him and nailed him. Alex to shoot it in. Kasparitis to the Petsman has nailed hard by Blake. Gonchar waits and then fed it in on the right wing boards. Comes back in front of the net. Close call, right to the line, didn't get in. Rob Blake, who only played six games last year, and is coming from a long way back, really got a hold of Kasparitis with a good clean body check on the board. And here's the stop Adam Foot made, 52, look at this. This puck is going in, but Foot with the quick stick. The third period has started here in Vancouver. Four tied at three. Canada coming in, hitting, and an injury right away. Malakov has been hit in the corner, and he's down. Now just getting up. Big Primo on the forecheck. The second forechecker in, and as Malakov rolled the puck up past him on the board, Primo continued to make the hit. Here comes the puck to Malakov. He puts it up, and Primo continues, and just got a little bit of him. The noise might have hurt him. So, Team Canada starting this tournament against Russia, one of the big teams, and going all the way to Philadelphia to meet the United States, another of the big teams. And that's one reason why this game is vitally important. 
Shot by Coffey. Sacking quickly. He missed all. Gretzky to Coffey again. Shot in there. Knocked down. Score! Joe Sackick. Canada has the lead. But they couldn't get the puck to him. Iskavich coming back fast. There's Big Lindros. Had it programmed all the way. Lindros is upended. And Russia inside the Canadian line. A little rough stuff again. The play will be stopped. Kasparinas was flattened by Coffey. Gets up. Doesn't like it. Well, why would he like it? He lost his helmet, and he lost his glove, and he lost the puck. Well, he's been asking for it ever since that game in Calgary. So when he gets it, he doesn't like it. Well, here it comes, baby. Paul Coffey, whose talents are not being a physical defenseman, but he's doing a nice job here in Casparitis. And the replay tells us he got away with grabbing the sweater of Casparitis and then tries to grab his nose. He saw the view but couldn't get the puck to him. Two minutes left in the third period. Kovalev, who got the first goal in the game, got it ahead. They move it back in quickly. Shatnov shot, stop, rebound. High over the net, off the stick, centered again. Pressure here. Shatnov centered it, score! Shatnov spotted Nemchinov open. And that's what he had, the open net for a tie game with a minute and 41 seconds left to play in the third. It's 4-4. Four, four. And look at here. There's no goal. Too many men on the ice. No goal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that that would happen with a minute and 41 seconds to go. That they would have six skaters. Let's see if we can find the six skaters for the Russians. There's four over there. You can see there. Now if we take the shot a little further, we can see two more. Guilty. So... No doubt about it. Canada four, Russia three. Sakic has the go-ahead goal at the 52-second mark of the period. And Lindros ran into Kozlov. And I'm not sure he knows where he is. Lindros, a heavy check. And there is Messier coming around the corner. Got it back to Stevens. 35 seconds remaining. Lindros centered it. Lindros gets set, made another play. Lindros is a fire right here. Lindros takes a high step. No doubt about it. This could be trouble. Lindros obviously hurt. Igor Larionov chopped Lindros on the arm as Lindros is coming over to check him. Kozlov was looking down to get the puck and kick it up to his stick. Yeah. And that was a clean check. Here's the chop right here. Right across the right hand of Lindros by the look of it. A wrist. He seems to have shaken it off and has skated to the Team Canada bench. Took a chop on the arm. 28 to 9. The Canadians have out hit the Russians tonight. And they've done it without taking penalties. And that is the key, as far as I'm concerned, to neutralizing the speed and talent of the Russians. Now, there's going to be another penalty here as Messier went over to the Russian bench. And he's going to get one and with 25 seconds to go. Face off just inside the Russia blue line. Stevens. Canada controlling. Here's Fleury, he scores! Canada wins game one.